Hello, Tim here, and welcome to my roundup and short critique of the attorney paintings from my December 2021 painting workshop, online workshop, where we painted Porthgain Harbour in southwest Wales, a lovely, pretty, uh, small coastal harbour down, down there in southwest Wales. Thanks very much to Graham again for the kind sharing of his source photo. Uh, this is it here that we all painted from. And from a watercolour point of view, a very pretty scene, lots of contrasts. One of the challenges I set was, uh, or a question I posed was, where would you put a third boat? We've got two main boats there. Where would you put a third main boat? Well, let me show you my demo on the day. I decided to put mine fairly close to the harbour mouth um, there. I made a few other adjustments as well, like I moved the, the left hand fishing boat a little bit further into the shadows so that I can get a bit more contrast between the light cabin and the darker shadows behind. So on the workshop, we you, you paint along with me, the attendees paint along with me, or they can paint in their own time afterwards. You've got access to the recording as well. If you want to take part in future workshops, just go to my event website, which is crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. You can get all the details of the next up and coming workshop. The next one is on January the 19th and we're painting a street scene with a, a tricky window reflection, something totally different to this. Um, and you can also take part in previous workshops as well and get a little critique from me. So I'm going to go through now and show you the attendee paintings in first name alphabetical order and just give you my little feedback. It is just purely my opinion and I will try and give a few little hints and tips along the way but give a fairly fair appraisal. So thanks very much all of you, those of you taking part and very welcome to of course join me on future workshops and indeed if you haven't taken part in one previously I'd love to see you so let's see the attendee paintings one by one then first up Adele a lovely sunny impression that you've got of the scene I like that reflection that you've got in of the the harbour wall down there very nice not quite so sure if this boat is correct with the the shape of the hull maybe the maybe the back of the boat just needs to be a little bit flatter sort of something a bit like that or you can't see with my red rendition but maybe a little bit like that so we got the the bat left corner somewhere like that but you certainly got the the feeling of light, great shadows, I love that shadow colour, nothing overworked at all, nice and fresh and great figure there on the right hand side, just in the right proportion. So well done Adele, thank you. Anna B. Yeah, this is a softer scene. I think um, also with the images that you see as we go through, when when people take photographs, they can be on different uh, they can be taking those photographs on different devices, different types of phones, cameras. And sometimes I find they may not be as bright as the actual original. And this might be the case with this one. I'm sure Anna's uh, photograph, Anna's painting will be a lot brighter than this. But we've still got the feeling of bright sunlight. Uh, you're, you've got uh, the, the inclusion of those three boats there. Uh, with the figure, not so sure about the white top to figure maybe just darken that a little bit and perhaps this boat on this third boat on the right perhaps that could be a bit bigger and further forwards it looks like it's a bit too close to that that harbour wall but you've got everything else right that the composition right nice you've got a nice hard edge of the horizon there good shadows as well so well done Anna another Anna Yeah, I, I like the composition here. 
maybe the figure might be a little bit too large for the scene, just needs to be a little bit smaller. Uh, I, I like the the sort of jaunty edge that you've got to the top of the harbour, not too perfectly straight. It gives a sort of quirky feeling to it. Just watch the slight overworking of the shadow on the left-hand side there. Try and do that with maybe with a bigger brush. But you've got some nice colours uh, in that shadow, though. Great sky, perfectly... Uh, Perfectly, a nice perfect wash there, graded wash, dark at the top, light at the bottom. Yeah, lovely bright watercolour, well done. And Barb. Good soft edge on the horizon. Good boats. Yeah, I think the figure there is in perfect proportion to it. Nice, dark, warm colours. Perhaps the... the harbour bed here could be just a little bit lighter it's it uh, that would give you a bit more contrast with the edge of the shadow as well but it's a nice composition yeah nice one Bob well done and Barbara now I think the photograph is maybe a little bit dark on this one but we can see what's going on here and oh we got some we got some figures having some fun in the in the harbour wall. Uh, so well done for using a bit of imagination there with those three figures. Yes, yeah, a nice composition. Uh, just watch the perspective on that that hut up there. Where, where we are, we need to be, we're sort of looking down it, so the top part of the roof would be a little bit like that, and then the bottom part of the roof a bit like that. So just watch the perspective. This third boat here doesn't stand out too much. Perhaps if there was a bit more light on it or white, that would help and make it a bit larger as well. But everything else is lovely. And I like the inclusion of the birds in the sky as well. Well done, Barbara. And Betty. Yeah, very nice. I think we've got the feeling of a, a more sort of stretched out horizontal format with this. Works really well. Uh, lovely boats. I particularly like that left-hand boat. Great shadows. Yeah, the, the, the shadows just watch a little bit. I'm not sure if you've gone over them a couple of times, but we, we might be in danger of just overworking slightly but the sky is very very good lovely transition into the sea soft edge there on the horizon and figure down on the right hand side at just the right size proportion to everything else and lovely little little details on top of the harbour wall as well well done Betty uh, Bev a nice bright watercolour. The boats, yeah, the left hand boat, good. Right hand boat, good. Not sure about the middle boat. It's, I think it's that back edge there. Perhaps we need to have a, like a straighter edge and perhaps something like that might be a little bit better. Good shadows though. Excellent figure on the right-hand side. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Bev. And Bob, let's just zoom in a little bit on this one. Nice bright scene. I think the, the shadows might be just a little bit overworked there, Bob, on that, on that left-hand side. And also, I would try and make the the left-hand side of the shadow a bit darker than the edge. The edge, uh, I think, is a, a tiny bit too dark, whereas the darker part of the shadow would be a little bit further over on the left. But everything else is brilliant. The This boat here, is that just a little bit too close, that left-hand one? might be just a tiny bit and uh, 
that figure. Oh yeah, that figure's all right. It's going to sink. Think is it a little bit too small? No, it's just the right size. Good inclusion. <laughs> good inclusion of some birds in the sky. Lovely sky as well. We've got a feeling of some soft clouds there over on the horizon. Yeah, nice one. A nice colour in that harbour wall as well. Well done, Bob. And Bronwyn. Oh, good idea to that third boat there. You've made that a smaller boat and you're connecting these different objects as well. So there's a nice connection with those three boats. Great figure, sense of movement. Nice bit of warmth on the harbour. Yeah, nice one. Uh, well done. Uh, when I run these workshops, always the way I demonstrate is just really... I'm just leading the demonstration and people can interpret the scene as they want to. They can change things around. You don't need to follow me 100%. And this is just the, the right thing to do. Uh, just just uh, in a harbour scene like this, move the boats around, have different types of boats. But a good idea just to try and connect these different boats together as well. Well done, Bronwyn. Bruce. And here's another example. <laughs> Look at all those buildings there on the on the harbour wall. Lovely. It just it adds a bit more interest to that that part of the scene, and a bit more. We've got a bit more of the hillside on the left hand side there, coming down to uh, the, the the sea. Yeah, those boats are good. Just I just watch a little bit of the overworking in some of the darker areas and also from a composition point of view perhaps move up the boats just a tiny bit and watch the left watch the left hand edge of the cabin there being straight in line with the right hand edge of the harbor wall if it was if we just move that boat over so the cabin was there for example Let's just remove that. So the cabin was about like that. So it's sort of not in line. The left-hand edge of the cabin is not in line with the right-hand edge of the of the hub wall. That that might look a little bit more effective, more more natural. Uh, but a, a nice scene. You know, well done for Bruce for introducing some different buildings up there. Lovely buildings. Yeah, well done. Thanks very much, Bruce. Let's just zoom back out. And the next one is Calvin. And Calvin's, there we are. Zoom into Calvin's iconic lady with the large brimmed hat and the flowing long dress. And ju just as the, um, the, here in the Southwest Wales, the predominant wind direction will be from the southwest so you caught that wind direction just perfectly i'm not so sure about this boat here being cut in half i know what you're trying to do you've got the shadow coming along the harbor bed thing going over the boat i think if if this if this is the front of the boat there that that part of the boat there then maybe this part might be a little bit lighter than the shadow behind. And also just think about a little bit of a light highlight to the top of that boat there. That might just give it more of a, give it more of a, so, that, so we've got some kind of connection of the, the shadow, the shadowy part of the boat with the, the lighter part of the boat. But um, let me just get rid of my drawing tool. But lovely, clean, soft, and uh, typical Calvin Calvin view on the on the on the scene. Lovely, well done, Calvin. Thank you. Uh, this one is Carla. So I think with with this from a composition point of view, we're standing back a little bit further from the scene. And I like those boats. The boats maybe just a little bit smaller than the way I than the way I did it, but really nice. 
I think you might have taken the photograph when your paint was still a little bit wet. Perhaps we've got a bit of a shine there on the on the sea. A lovely shadow. I like those shadows. A bit of granulation occurring, just just what watercolor does. A nice attractive um, effect that watercolor does sometimes with certain paints. Uh, with the shadow of the boat, maybe have it more solid the shadow so there's less of the uh, lighter part uh, light, lighter parts of the harbour bed showing through a bit more more like that left hand one lovely boat there on the left hand side as well what well on Carla and Charles okay Charles you've gone for the the two boat format not the three boat format no problem with that whatsoever I like the way that you've put a bit of detail into that we'd really do feel that iron chain there connecting the boat that boat certainly is not going to move is it with the shadows I'm not so sure about that rosy red color there and also a slight dark edge to the shadows well try and get a a lighter or a softer edge to that shadow and also maybe just think about the shadow edge to following the contour of little bumps along the way. But lovely scene. Yeah, and it works perfectly, the, the, those three objects, the, the building up there on the, the harbour side and those three boats, those three objects works really well. Yeah, nice one, Charles. Thank you. And another Charles. So what do we have here? We've got some smaller boats appearing. Lovely. I like, I like that boat there with the outboard motor on the back. Very nice. Lovely boats. A tiny bit of overworking in places. Perhaps the sky. Uh, the sky there just a little bit overworked and possibly the shadow on the left hand side Charles try and do it I'm not sure if you've gone over the shadow maybe a couple of times but it's a nice composition and well done for including all those boats and the figures as well if we zoom into the figures looks like a, an adult and a child figure there yeah very very nice oh with that boy here I would say that's just a little bit too close to the bottom left hand. If that was just moved up just a tiny bit there, Charles, that would work a little bit better from a composition point of view rather than just resting on that bottom edge. Ching. I do like your boats, Ching. The, that left hand boat is very, very nice. And, and also the, the third boat there, looking down on it works really well plus the ropes that are crossing the scene connecting a bit of bit of horizontal interest connecting all the boats together very very nice good figure as well lovely sky soft edge yes yeah, a very nice watercolor and and nice shadows as well maybe that middle boat is not as good as the other two i think with the shape of the hull perhaps perhaps if that boat was a little bit bigger and also get some windows on the front of it as well possibly uh, just to make it consistent with the other the other boats there uh figure that figure might be a tiny bit too large as well for the boats if it was just a little bit smaller maybe Maybe about two thirds that size, something like that. What well on Ching? Lovely watercolor, particularly like the that that hut as well on the left hand side. Brilliant and nice sky. Uh, Christy. Well, a very bright scene here. I like that sea. Look at the gorgeous blues and greens and colors. A nice sort of tranquil flat scene. Um, flat uh, surface to it lovely sea and also the detail on the harbour bed as well these little rocks and 
stones appearing with a tiny bit of shadow behind them. Great figures also. We don't need a third boat in there. The, the, the water there speaks for itself. I like that crisp vertical edge there. Very, very nice. And the detail on the harbour. Nice dark shadows. Just watch a little bit of the, maybe tiny, tiny bit of overworking on the shadow. Just a tiny bit, but it's a beautiful watercolour. And those boats are superb. Well done, Christy and Connie. Yeah, very nice. I think that that boat there is a little bit overworked and maybe could be a tiny bit bigger. Uh, the figures, the heads might be just a little bit too large for the bodies. But the sky, brilliant. Sea, brilliant. Nice composition. With the shadows... Oh, OK, that bit of white paint there, that might be perhaps a little bit of a rope or something like that. I was just uh, questioning a little bit of sort of white paint within the shadows there, but I'm sure that's... That's some kind of a rope going across the scene. Yeah, very nice indeed. Thanks, Connie. Just zoom back out. And Dan. Very nice boats. Maybe the photograph, I'm sure the photograph isn't, isn't level. The harbour... There's just going down slap. I'm sure that's the photograph. This is very nice sport colour. You, you, you've got the got a sense of the, the texture of the harbour bed with all the marks, the little tiny brush marks that you've made, the darks and the lights in there. And those boats are very, very good. And you've like a, a previous attendee, you've you've inserted that smaller boat there between the two. Yeah. Excellent, I do like, and that you've got a, you've also got a, a nice, bit of texture on the the harbour wall, also with all the different built different building materials that we, we could see on that harbour. Very very nice, lovely, and also you haven't. Uh, also, what's effective is that, the the sky, is not too different. Is not too too different in value to the sea. I think that actually worked quite well also. It's the actual, the horizon there is not, not ultra important to the overall scene. Yeah, lovely. And top left corner, I like, if I can zoom in. Top left corner, these brush marks there. Very, very nice. That, that whole edge there is beautiful. Well done, Dan. Thanks very much indeed. Daniel. Okay, so you've, you're using quite a bit of the, these dry brush marks, these darker dry brush marks, which I think work on the harbour base, but maybe not at the, so much the base of the wall. We, we, we need a a different value between the wall and the and the the harbour wall and the base of the harbour just to make those stand out a little bit. Boats are all right. That middle one, the that middle one, the bow needs to be around about there, I reckon. And then we got the sweep of that side, and then maybe a a straighter far edge that would look a little bit better and watch the gaps in the shadows as well try and make them a little bit more solid but everything else is nice good figure that that figures in perfect relationship to everything else uh, nice sky nice softness coming down to the sea just watch that pencil line on the horizon uh, Try and, yeah, I guess try and do it either as a lighter line or a dotted line, just so it doesn't stand out so much. Nice one, Daniel. Thank you. And Derek. 
That's a nice, bold, fresh watercolour. I do like the brush marks that you've got, Derek, on the harbour base there. Superb. And the figure the, with the little footprints as well <laughs> coming away from the figure. Yeah, lovely, nice touch. So it's good, good overall composition, the placement of the boats and the figure and the these red boys here. Shadow's good as well. Yeah. Not, uh, can't see that it's overworked in any way. And then I guess with the horizon, we've got a bit of a misty feeling going on there. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Got the sky, then a little bit of a, a darker band and then the sea itself. Yeah, well done, Derek. Thank you. And I think there might be a couple of David C's. So David's got this fisherman in the scene. I think the fisherman might be a little bit too big for the scene, but a nice touch. And, and yeah, that's just exactly what you'd sort of see there. Uh, it looks like there's a distant cruise ship or tanker there on the horizon. Good idea just to fill up that space. Nice boat. That boat on the left is is very, very good. Yep, well done, David. And another David. Another David C. Right. I, I like the, the way that you've put that boat there. We're looking at a sort of side profile and we've we have the reflection of that boat and a bit of the harbour wall. Gives a nice sort of glassy reflective look to the, the, the water coming in through the harbour entrance. Perhaps the shadows could be a little bit darker, I think, and also take the paint mix right up to the edge of the paper so that we don't get that jagged, sort of teeth marks appearing on the left hand side so so take the paint over the edge of the paper just get a a nice edge to it other than that it's a superb scene and good job on the boats well done and the and the and the two figures there just the right size well done david and uh, david j lovely warms and cools I suppose the, the C could be just a little bit higher. So it's, it's almost in line, isn't it, with the top of the harbour wall there. So try and either make the C lower than the harbour wall or vice versa. Boats are superb, though. Very, very good. Perhaps this right-hand one, the, the actual bow could be around about there. So just a little bit more to the left. Good job on the figures. And nice shadows as well. And I would close up. I would try and make the shadow just a little bit more solid, particularly on the left on the left hand side. Yeah. Very nice. And good touch with the birds in the sky. Right. Right and left. Got two two groups of birds there. And the sky is lovely as well. Lovely sky. Well done, David. Dennis. <clears throat> I suppose the, the impact here is that it's quite a light right-hand side contrasting with the dark left-hand side. That really works. Good boats, though. Lovely boats. Perhaps get a little window on, the, on that lead boat there. But those, those boats are superb. Good good figure also, just the right proportion. With the waves on the sea, I probably, with the angle of the waves that you've got there, Dennis, I might just adjust it slightly and do it more that way, coming in to the harbour entrance, just as a, as a suggestion. But other than that, it's really nice. Lovely sky, lovely sea. Good shadows, nice and fresh. Well done. Yeah, 
particularly good job on the boats. Well done, Dennis. And Diane. Oh, nice. It always makes a difference when you mount something. It gives that nice, nice framing to the scene. So we've got some, I can see straight away, we've got some figures and uh, our first uh, dog or um, animal <laughs> in the scene. With, it, it, I guess with the harbour, the top of the harbour wall just going down slightly to the right hand edge, we have a feeling of us being a little bit higher, looking down a bit more on the scene, which doesn't matter. Good job on the boats overall. This middle one, though, doesn't look... The, the straight head should be on the far side. So let me just see if I can zoom in a bit more and show you this. So we have the bow of the boat. We've got the this side of the boat, a bit like that, in the back of the boat. And then that that far side, that left-hand side, will be a little bit straighter than but the curve will be on that side, okay? Not not vice versa like you've done. That would look a little bit more, bit more symmetrical. But a lovely scene. Good job on the sky. That sky is fantastic. Very good sky. And well done for framing. It just makes all the difference, doesn't it? Thanks very much, Diane and Doris. Well, it's got a nice soft feeling to this. I like the the palette of colours and this blue that's going through the scene. This this the blue in the shadow and it and it's almost repeated. It's a similar shade of blue for these boats and the figures. The lower part of the figure there with. The, this boat here, maybe there could be a bit of reflection in the water, in this nearby water here. But a very nice watercolour, nice and fresh. I do like that blue. Yeah, well done. Thanks very much, Doris. Edward. Maybe your photo is just a little bit dark. I'm sure your, your painting's a bit bright in this. Very nice brush marks. In the shadows, it's got a good bit of atmosphere. I like the shape also that you've got of the these puddles in the harbour entrance. That's that's quite effective as well. I would just remember to put in a bit of reflection from that boat in that section there, and possibly with the figure as well, just to make that water look a bit more effective but good job on the boats lovely boats yep well done Edward and Engin well what a lovely bright blue sea and, and uh, I like the sky as well with the the effect that you've got of those clouds it looks like you might have done a bit of lifting out with those clouds that works really well boats are very, very good. Perhaps a bit of overworking with the shadows, Engin. They look a little bit, as we might say, muddy. And also take, as as per another attendee, take, take the shadow over the edge as well so that we don't have that, these little lighter bits showing through there. But very nice watercolour, lots of Lots of colours. You've got yellows, blues, reds, browns, greys. Yeah, very nice. And a nice touch with the birds, almost flying like a squadron round the round the right hand side. Yep, nice one. Thanks, Engin. And Fauzia. Well, very bright scene. I'll, 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 I'm immediately drawn to the colours that you've got on the harbour wall. That's a, a gorgeous red in there. Like a almost like a cool red, but quite bright. The boat's a little bit overworked. That one's a bit too small, and also avoid with the figures. Try and avoid that lighter uh, edge to those figures. So either make the figures a lot darker than they are, or a light figure on a on a dark background, or vice versa. 
just to make them stand out or not not bother. It, they're, they're sort of, with a lot of our figures in this exercise, uh, maybe me included, the figures were almost a little bit too far to the right-hand side and it's too much detail on that side. Uh, that boat just a little bit too small. The boat, the boat shapes are good, but just I think within the boat, there's a tiny bit of too much overworking there. Apart from that lovely bright, bright watercolor, you've got so many different colors into this one. Very nice. Thanks, Fawzia and Fiona. Well, we've got more of a, a squarish dimensions here. And I think that works really well. The, those three figures, very well placed. And we, could, we can imagine there's a conversation going on between these two groups, maybe arguing about how deep is the water, <laughs> one trying to get to the other. Uh, lovely boats, particularly that one on the left-hand side, the blue at the top of the hull and then the red at the bottom of the hull, and it's just placed perfectly within the shadows there. Nice shadows, not overworked. I like the sky with little bits of light showing through as well. Well done, Fiona. And Francois. Nice fresh watercolour. Great sky. That's a perfectly laid wash coming down to a, a bit of a soft edge to the, the horizon. Lovely blue. Great figure. It's got a bit of movement, that figure, hasn't it? It's almost in a bit of a jog coming towards us. Those boats are very, very good. And the just a little bit of attention to detail, the fenders, these three fenders on the boat, and a, and a little bit of glimmer in the top left corner where it's catching the light. And I noticed it, yeah, it's, it's down on that one there, on the harbour bed. And also the way that you've got these lines across the harbour bed, which I guess is little trails of seaweed, but they're, they're sort of repeated in the lines that you've got for the rope and the rigging. And it sort of leads us into the composition in a way that sort of like, a, like the fingers of a hand um, outstretched and leading into a leading into that central point thank you francois helen can we just zoom in a little bit more the harbor the top of the harbor wall needs to be a little bit more level there helen just to give a, a feeling of the height of the viewer and yeah, just, just needs to be a little bit more level. Other than that, composition good. I, I do like those figures. They're excellent figures down there on the right-hand side. Yeah, uh, looks like a male and female figure. And then the boats, those boats are very good. And the writing on the, the little uh, letter and numbering of, of the boat, very effective. It's uh, quite authentic to the way that um, a lot of the UK fishing boats, uh, they have that sort of naming convention on the side of the boats. Uh, just watch a bit of the overworking of the shadow on that left-hand side as well, Helen. Sky, though, very good. And the sea as well. It's, it's a pe pale watercolour, but it really works. And... I like the effect that you've got, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a little bit of splattering or you might have used a bit of salt or something, but that, I really like the texture that you've got to the water in, in that bottom right-hand corner there. Very good. Well done, Helen. Thank you. And Henry... Okay, now with that harbour wall, it looks like it's leaning a little bit towards us. Perhaps we should see less of the top edge there. You've got the line right there, 
but just it looks like we're looking down it and this 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 part of the harbour wall looks like it's leaning a little bit towards us the boats are very nice indeed i like them they're similar they're all sort of similar colors perhaps get a bit more light on the left hand side or go darker on darker on the right hand side with the direction of the sun those figures might be just a tiny bit too big as well but good figures those figures are excellent yeah and, and just the right reflection for those figures as well good job on the sky and the sea where it um that, that transition that soft edge very nice thanks henry and ina well i do like that harbour entrance you've made more of a feature of that harbour and perhaps the boats are a little bit more over on the left hand side from a from the balance of the composition point of view i think that really works uh yeah so that right hand side very nice and that dog that dog's superb let's just zoom in the curve of the back the tail fantastic lovely colors you've left a little bit of light on the harbor base where the sun might be catching some wet stones or something the boats are very good perhaps that one there it's a little bit sort of inconspicuous, but I think of the whole those, those boats are really, really nice. It's a, it's a very good fresh watercolour. As I say, I particularly like that bottom right-hand corner and the, and the figure and the dog there, Ina. Well done. And Joe, Joe Quinn. Lovely boats. Good placement of those boats. And... The, the rigging really stands out as well. Like I've mentioned before, the, the pattern of those lines leading us into the composition works really well. I'm not so sure about the right-hand side there. Uh, can we see, or oh, there's, yeah, these two figures, I, I guess there's two figures there, a left, left that, that one there and, and the lighter figure to the right. Uh, yeah, it looks a little bit overworked in that in that area there, but it's a small, just a small um, area of the of the overall scene. Uh, the the harbour wall though, very good. Bit of texture on the surface there, excellent. Yep, and the shadow. Actually, that, that shadow is quite nice. So the, we've got a sense of the, or I can feel, if I zoom in, some brush marks going in that kind of direction there, which I think works really well to give the feeling of the, the contour, the gradient of the harbour bed. Well done. Right, John, John D. What immediately hits me is this, this golden glow coming from the middle of the harbour. And you've gone for quite light shadows, but they really work. You've, got, you've managed to get in so many different colours into the scene. Perhaps the top of the harbour wall is not too level, John. It might need to be just made a bit more level like that. Just a tiny bit. Great sky and I like the sea especially these little sort of greenish uh, patches in there just adds another dimension to the sea there with the white I don't know not sure if you're using a white uh, pen or or highlighter which I think works with the rigging and the masts on the boats but maybe not so much on that wall there I I would ease off on on the on the sort of masonry part of that wall there good figure though uh that figure might be a little bit too big compared to these two just the right size that one just a little bit too big but they're good figures though well done john thank you 
and another John. What stands out here is that nice, crisp top to the harbour wall there, and it's repeated on that right-hand side. I like that. Uh, the boats, yeah, perfectly placed. The figures, just the right size. Watch the little bit too much of a, a lighter area around that figure, and the head being a little bit too big. Those boats, though, very nice boats, symmetrical, especially that middle one, brilliant. And shadows. Yeah, shadows are good. The line here, we've got the bow of the boat and the line of the shadow just continue on. Maybe consider moving one or the other. So... Well, for example, I suppose the, the shadow um, perhaps coming out from there or maybe in here and a bit of a shadow going over the front of the boat rather than it being totally in line there. And also with the top of the cabin. So you've got it in line there and there. Just a small point makes it um, a little bit more natural looking if they're, if they're, not, it, if they're not aligned. Yeah, nice. And uh, we've got some birds sneaking into the scene. Lovely sky, lovely sea, and good soft edge to the horizon. Thanks very much, John. And Joy. That's a soft watercolour. As I mentioned before, I would say the top of the harbour wall is coming down a little bit too much, that angle there, Joy. Very good place in the boats. Those boats are lovely. I particularly like that left-hand one. The, your style, the, the brush marks, bit of dry brush. You're using white paint, but I think you got away with it um, on this. With the that line there between the top part of the hull and the bottom part of the hull, that looks all right. And there's a little bit of, maybe a bit of white paint on the harbour wall, but you haven't overdone it. Uh, have you used a bit of white paint on the top there? Can't tell. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that, those shadows. I like those shadows. And also the feeling of that water either coming into the harbour or there's a little bit of a the water draining down towards the, the sea. Yeah, we've, we've certainly got a feeling of the, the expanse of the harbour here. We're not so enclosed by the space lovely well done joy thank you julia that's a very nice harbour bed with your your brush marks and the different sort of transparent layers very fresh watercolor yeah very very effective Maybe it looks quite level, the harbour bed, with the these three lines here on that left-hand side. If they were angled down just a little bit, or some of these lighter speckled bits of paper showing through, if that was at a slight angle, we'd have a feeling more of the gradient. But it's, it's a nice, fresh feeling that you've got there. Good boats as well although that middle boat the the actual bow needs to be a little bit more to the left figure good watch the lighter boundary around the figure i would close that up a little bit more and very bold on that top left corner that that building really stands out yeah very nice well done Kazim, oh, you've you've got the boats sort of nestled up. They're they're keeping each other company, and also nice touch with these two figures. And we there's there's a bit of movement in these figures, particularly that right hand one, pulling some rigging or pulling something across the harbour bed. Yeah, nice touch adding those three boats together. Good bit of texture on this as well. The harbour wall, 
I like the waves that you've got coming in through the through the harbour entrance. You've got a line there. Just those those sort of indented lines left and right and also the edging that you've got on the water's edge. It's just, just little, uh, little bits of attention to detail that can make all the difference. Nice one, Kazim, thank you. Uh, Lindsay. Right, you've gone for the two boat composition, which really works. They, they're sort of nicely placed. Oh, there might, ah, there's another boat you've, I'm pretty sure that's a boat there. Well, I suppose to make it stand out as a boat, we need to get a little bit more of a structure on the top of it, I would guess, or maybe a little bit lighter just to make it stand out a bit more. Nice boat on the left-hand side. The cabin is a little bit overworked on that middle boat, but they're, they're nice boats, nicely placed. Very nice shadows also. And the fact that the shadow going down the harbour wall is darker than the shadow coming across the harbour bed. Yeah, very, just the perfect values that you've got for those. And figure on the right hand side, excellent. What well on Lindsay. Uh, Leanne. And you've, yeah, I suppose the boats are a little bit bigger in this one. And we've named this ship <laughs> SS Leanne or something like that. So you've named that ship after you. Nice touch. I suppose that's better than signing it, isn't it? Just uh, put your name across a boat. Lovely boats, particularly the left-hand one. Everyone did that, that, that left-hand boat really well. Just the side profile leaning. We got the sense of it leaning a little bit to uh, away from us. Very effective. With the figure, I would just watch again that lighter patch around the that left-hand side. But other than that, that figure looks actually very good. We've got... Um, Always a feeling of that, of facial features showing through. Yeah, nice colours, good colour on the, the harbour wall. With the shadow going across, I probably wouldn't make that so light there, Leanne. I would um, try and keep that a little bit darker in there. But it's a nice shadow, it's not overworked. A good job work with the sky and the sea and also this little bit of softness there where the sky meets the meets the sea that little bit of softness there we can see it repeated through a little bit there yeah could be a touch of sea mist just just coming across the scene which you would i guess you would typically get in this area coming off the ocean lovely uh lydia Totally different. We've got the water coming in. Oh, this is beautiful. Not so sure. I'm not, not sure what these... Oh, I guess that, that might be a sort of tunnel, perhaps, on that far side there. But what really stands out are these lovely reflections. That boat as well on that side. You've kept the the sort of cobalt green colouring of the fishing boats here. And we've got some tackle and equipment inside the boat. Nice white reflection of the, of the harbour masters building at the end there. Figures fishing off the edge of the, uh, the edge of the harbour wall. Nice one, Lydia. And with figures on the right hand side as well. Very nice. Good idea having the tide coming in as a different aspect to it. Well done for taking that taking that scene and, and just changing it, um, which we should. That's the ideal thing to do with a harbour scene. If you've got a harbour scene with, water, with the high tide, make it low tide. 
take a low tide scene, make a high tide, just as, as Louis's done. Yeah, lovely reflections and excellent, uh, excellent boats here, particularly that left hand one. Well done. Lynn. All right. Nice placement of the boats. I like your brush marks. I just watched the not marking the edge of the shadow there, drawing attention to that edge. Just let the change in value speak for themselves. Good placement of the boats though. Reflections, lovely figure. That sky is excellent as well. Well done, thanks very much. Lynn. What's well, a nice warm feeling to this one, particularly with the that sort of terracotta red you've got on the base of the harbour. Good job on the boat. It's not so sure about this right hand one. I can't see. Oh, I guess this is the bow, isn't it, in the stern there? So just try and I would say with that boat. So if the bow is there, and then we've got the let's do it again. <laughs> Uh, the bow is there, and then we've got the far side like that, and then the near side might curve round a little bit more, and then we've got the back of the boat, all right, so, and then the bottom of the hull a little bit like that. I might have emphasised the bottom bit, but just to make it a bit more symmetrical and less, it looks like it's quite a wide boat, that one. Uh, but the other two boats are superb though. Very nice, and particularly that left-hand one. Good figure, nice sky, soft edge leading into the sea, and good edges on the, the detail on the rocks on the left-hand side, on the hill on the left-hand side. Lovely shadows as well, and the lines of the rigging. Well done, Lynn, thank you. Mike. I suppose what, what stands out here is other shadows, nice and dark. Maybe just a little bit too dark, but they're all right, they're good shadows. You've made more of a feature of the water leading down to the entrance to the harbour, and then that, that boat sort of just nestling on the water's edge, that's nice. Uh, with the harbour the top of the harbour it looks like it might be just going up ever so slightly so just try and make it a little bit more level i think um just a tiny bit a bit like that just down a down a tiny bit but lovely sky and the way that you've you've got that transfer from the sky into the sea very very nice for a very good smooth wash, graded down to that lighter, almost like a bit of light hitting the horizon in the distance. Nice one, thank you, Mike and Nydia. With the line of that harm, looks like we're looking down on the scene a, a bit, doesn't matter. Uh, watch the little bit of overworking, perhaps too much of the dry brush marks on the, on the shadows. Those boats are very, very nice indeed, particularly that left-hand one. Let's zoom in on the left-hand one. And you've got the, that red boy. The red, red always are, very effective just to dot into a harbour scene like this where there's boys or fenders or these life boys here on uh, on the craft uh, the figures we've got adult and child maybe the arms are just a little bit too long on the the adult figure but nicely placed as well and you've got a bit of a stripy roof I like it yeah Good sky, a nice sea. It's in the background, it's, you know, it's not too much detail. Soft, out of focus, perfect. Yeah, well done, Nydia, thank you. 
Pablo. I actually quite like the the way that you've got the shadow almost we've got a repeated color of the that green there is fantastic that's so bright so I, I like that green and it, but it's in a way it's it's repeated in the shadows which i think is quite effective and having that coolness contrast with the warmth of the harbor and your your brush marks and brush directions i think are very distinctive as well particularly in the harbor bed there and up up here on the cliff tops I, I like those little i guess you've done it with maybe a flat brush and not too much paint on the brush but you're just those little marks there quite distinctive yeah Nice one, a good job on the boats. Not so sure about this line that reflected, I'm not sure if that's a reflected line there or the side, this line here. Perhaps it could be more of, perhaps it could be more of a reflection there coming from the harbour wall, possibly. But thanks very much, Pablo, lovely one. Very distinctive colours. And Pat, let me just zoom into this one a bit more. There we go. Got a nice placement of those boats, the middle one coming a little bit closer towards us. Those figures are good. Perhaps if they had just a little bit of white on top of the heads, the heads might show up a bit more. It's quite dark in that in the mouth of the harbour. Lovely harbour wall over here. You've you've really captured the the stonework and the boulders and this sort of old mortar between between the stones and the different the different materials on that as well. Tiny bit of overwork in the shot of the shadows, just a little bit. But very nice boats. Love those boats. Well done Pat. Thank you. Let's just zoom back out. And lovely sky and soft edge to the sea. Thank you. Uh, Philippe. It's a soft watercolour, lovely sky, nice horizon, peaceful scene, perfect boats. You capture the colour of those boats. That that is that's the colour of those boats, just right. Uh, on this middle one maybe the left hand side could be just a little bit lighter with the sun coming from the left hand side philippe but shadows are good rigging connecting everything yep very nice indeed oh harbor wall maybe just a it's coming down just ever so slightly there right next one Ravi. Yeah, perfect boats. Perhaps the cabin of this boat could be a little bit taller, a little bit higher. Left hand one good, right hand one good. Good figure, although the figure might be a tiny bit too big, just a little bit. I like the, the this rosy red colour that you've got through the harbour wall and the texture that you've got on the harbour bed those shadows very fresh nice edge to them as well good rigging yeah very good and nice horizon also well done thanks Ravi and Rhonda Uh, thanks very much, Rhonda, for framing your picture. Uh, like somebody else before, it does does make all the difference just to make them stand out a bit more. And very nice scene. Perfect placement of the boats. With the cabins, a bit like Ravis, make, make that middle one a little bit taller. All right, it just needs to be a tiny bit taller. 
and not so sure about the little dabs of white paint here yeah just just be careful with the white paint not overdoing it too much and with the horizon let me just zoom in a bit more now i'm not sure if that's white paint or there's a little bit of a white boundary but we wanted to try and get a smooth transition from the sky into the sea and getting a a soft edge to that but that's just a little bit too harsh um, there going across the scene but perfectly perfectly level when i when i stand back and look at it uh, just right lovely harbour wall shadows very nice indeed and excellent figure well done Rhonda. thank you let's just zoom back out again and thanks for framing it as well uh sally That's very soft. Perhaps those figures might be a little bit too small. There. The boats are good. Not so sure about the middle one though. With, we're sort of looking where we are looking, we're looking down on the scene a little bit. And this one, we need to see more of the inside of that boat I feel on that one. The harbour wall though brilliant shadows are lovely just consider a little bit of a darker line there just so that we've got some sort of continuity of the harbour coming around where it's in the in the sunlight and then it goes into the shadows just get a little bit of a maybe a dark line in there just to continue it around but lovely shadows well done, Sally. Thank you. Sandra. Nice, bright, warm harbour base. Good drawing, good boats. Maybe some of these rigging lines are a little bit too thick, that white line there. And also the pencil line on the horizon. If it was just a little bit lighter, maybe use a harder pencil or a thinner line just watch that I like the detail on the left hand side that building the figures don't stand out too much they're sort of lost perhaps if they had a crisper edge to them or they were they had lighter clothing like you know some of these boulders stand out here Sandra but um, those figures just a little bit lost there they put lovely figures it'd be nice if they stood out a bit more with the boats Good left, good um, furthest boat there. This boat here in the middle doesn't look too symmetrical with the, you know, if the bow is there, again, we want the, the far side a little bit like that and then coming around to the back of the boat a little bit like that. And I would also not, put in a dark line on that left hand side of the cabin just let the the color of the harbor bed meeting the light cabin that that would suffice just for that that transition from one into the other so just um maybe not use that darker color so much to define the the edge of objects but lovely lovely bright watercolor and like a few others, you've got in so many different colours and the green of the seaweed as well, the lichen on the right-hand side. Well done. Thanks, Sandra. And Saro. I suppose with this one, we've got a, a little bit of a, a steep, quite a steep harbour bed. Doesn't matter. Lovely boats, so those these boats are excellent. Again, especially that left-hand one. Let's zoom in on that left-hand one. Fantastic, and that figure also. Figure and child, or adult and child, on the right-hand side, very nice. Good reflections, also of everything perhaps that boat might be reflected we've got the harbour wall 
but with with the water where it is perhaps the we've got the side of the boat there maybe there could be a bit more of a reflection in that area there in fact that whole triangle there could be a little bit darker but nice one like it good shadows good rigging sky see yeah perfect thanks so much saro uh sheila well we've got an intrepid figure here trying to launch a boat or pull the boat in a bit of movement in the water as well i love that water this sort of lacy feel that in that bottom right corner not overworked lovely good boats as well good couple of boats maybe this one here not too symmetrical but we're nearly there nice shadows as well yeah lovely particularly like the the figure good idea with that sheila having the figure with the uh, that small boat there well done and sil silnamjai hopefully i pronounced your name okay Oh, I do like this. It's uh, it almost doesn't look like a watercolor, almost like sort of pastel in a way. Uh, the softness of the harbour wall, the softness of the boats, the particularly the back of the boats, and then these brush marks. I like the brush marks both in this bottom left-hand corner here. Look at this, lovely, fresh, laid down once, then just left. And, and the pattern of those brush marks as well, like the rigging that is pointing us into the scene with the almost like arrowheads pointing into the scene. And then the other area I noticed, um, up there in the top left-hand corner again, let me just zoom in. There we are, up there, lovely. Some transparent layers, not too dark, just the right value. Yep, very nice. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, the figure might be just a bit too big for the size of the boat. Just make that figure a little bit smaller. And Susan. What's a lively watercolour? I think the 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 edge that you've got um, the, from the transition of the sky to the sea and these sort of plumes of, these plumes of, sea coming up i think that's quite like that it's 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 what watercolor does one one color bleeds into another and it's repeated a little bit on the far edge of the harbor the top of the harbor there nice bit of coolness at the base of the harbor boats are all right i would say this one here they need to be a bit more these two right that boat there is all right quite small could be a bit bigger bring it further forwards this one here not very symmetrical i would say in this one this one on the left needs to be longer so that the yeah it needs to be longer and also the back of the boat maybe needs to be a little bit more so we've got more of a more of a an angle with the bow of the boat but the stern of the boat a little bit flatter shadows very nice color look at the granulation there beautiful and cool we've got a bit of warmth in that area coolness here lovely and nice brush marks as well excellent well done susan and Teresa, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I think uh, the the boats boats are good. This middle one, if it had something inside the boat, just to make it a little bit more like a fishing boat, some tackle or just with a brush, a smaller brush, just put in. A little bit of something fishing gear equipment or fenders you know you've got the fenders there but maybe 
I'm not sure if there were any on the photograph, but just, just get something in there to make it a bit more boat-like. The shadow of that boat, perhaps it needs to come out a little bit more there, Teresa. The shadow on the harbour wall, lovely. And also, look at this, that warmth dripping into that cool blue. Very, very nice. That figure, just the right size figure as well. That, that figure is perfect. Yep, excellent. Well done, Teresa. Nice one. And you've got the perspective on that building just right also. Well done. And Tom. Yeah, you've gone for, you've gone for a really dark edge to that, the dark side to that boat, which I think works really well. It, it then, we've, we've got everything connected, that dark side of the boat, dark similar value for the shadow. Yeah, nice big boat there in the harbour edge. Good figures, just the right size of figures. Bit of uh, paper showing through some of the harbour wall as well. Yeah, very, very dramatic with those dark shadows. You've probably gone... Well, you've you've got certainly one of the, the darkest uh, shadows on the boats that uh, we've seen in the group. And I, and I think it really works. And also that edge of the shadow connecting to the harbour wall. I always like to try and join elements together to get a sort of cohesive feel to the composition. But that boat there, very well placed. Perfect. Perfect place for the third boat. And that reflection also. Well done, Tom. And Tony. Yeah. Nice balance to the composition. The boats could be, maybe, maybe that middle one could be a tiny bit bigger, but they're very good boats. And like a few other people, a nice that nice green as well, very authentic green. Good shadows, nice and fresh, not overworked, good edge to those shadows. Lovely sky, that horizon, beautiful. The way that you've done that horizon, we well, we can't see that pencil line. There's a little bit of a pencil line there, but you hardly notice it. The figures... Now, I'm not sure, have you used a little bit of body paint for those figures? They might be standing out just a little bit too much, that figure in white there. But very good brush marks here. That The shape of those brush marks, they're superb, Tony. Well done. Very nice. And I think... I think the last one is Vivian. What shows through here is the surface of the paper. And you get, with watercolour, you can buy all sorts of different surfaces of paper. And manufacturers will, will all be different as well with their, their grain and, and the texture. But it really stands out. It's quite nice. Uh, so... Very fresh watercolour, nice transparent layers in the top left corner there. Lovely. The boats are good. Not so sure about this left-hand boat. It, uh, we've got a bit of a rounded top to the cabin. And also the, the bow of the boat doesn't stand out so well. Perhaps if it came out just a tiny bit more, Vivian, and the sharpness of the bow there, so all of that would be... Uh, like a an extension of that bow. But the shadow coming across the harbour, lovely, and you've got a, a bit of a hard edge there, and then we're going down to a softer edge, and a bit of a transparent layer of the reflection. We could have some wet sand here, or the wet base of the harbour, just giving us a tiny bit of reflection. Yeah, excellent, but I do like that paper, lovely. Well done, Vivian. Well, that's it then uh, for the, the those that I've had from the December 
2021 workshop. Thanks very much everyone that, that took part of it, took part in it, and hope to catch up with you on the next workshop. So just remember to go up to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot, T-I-M-W-I-L-M-O-T, that's me. And love to see you on the next workshop where we choose uh, every every month it's a different subject to challenge watercolour painters from all over the world and all different levels of watercolour painter as well. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully it's been of interest to you, even though you may not have taken part, you've picked up on different effects and different techniques there. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you on the next video.